This is Bumper to Bumper TV. There are some auto experiences that just get better when you've had a chance to look at them with a long view. For us, the MX-5 certainly falls into that category. When it finally arrived in North American showrooms, enthusiasts were clamoring to see what would be new and different, and for the most part, they were happy with the results. So when a week-long loan of one occurred, we began to understand their passion. This is what driving a true sports car is all about. A small block engine in a lightweight body and matched with a perfectly synced gearbox. For the record, here are some numbers to keep in mind. The current version of the MX-5 has a curb weight of around 2300 pounds. Surprisingly, the six-speed manual actually is heavier than the automatic. We of course are partial to the manual for the sheer pleasure of how it feels and how it responds to the engine. That is of course a two-liter four-cylinder block with Skyactiv technology to deliver efficiency and performance. The official numbers are 155 horsepower and 148 foot-pounds of torque. It is worth mentioning that fuel economy is pretty good and we found that combined city highway results exceeded what the EPA found in its testing. Our first experience with the car was with a group of loyalists at a track just outside of Atlanta where nearly everyone was trying to push the MX-5 to its limits. While that's fun, we also enjoyed simply driving the two-seater through town and appreciating the improved handling. The current version has a lot less flex thanks in part to better use of tensile steel and this brace in the engine compartment. Along with the double wishbone suspension, the control is obvious on winding roads or during hard maneuvers. Now, since it's a two-seater, ergonomics can be a challenge for the unaccustomed driver. For example, the cup holder for water or coffee is an add-on and it's located in a somewhat unwieldy location. But who drives this kind of car for the convenience of enjoying a beverage at the same time? The CD changer is located behind the seats and is not an easy reach to change your music as a result. The good news is that the seats are a lot more comfortable than in the previous model and offer better support for the legs and lower back. What the MX-5 may lack in pure power, it more than makes up for it with a classic layout and a responsive experience that brings fun back to driving. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.